I don't think it's a risk. Uh, the, it, it, it's a problem that they are relying on Ronaldo only, you know, and uh, I would say uh, that just shows that the players around him are not good enough or not at the level that you want them to, exp to, to be. It's the same for Messi. Uh, if the team is too much relying, basically, it's because uh, the number of good players around Messi are not good enough. And uh, so if the good players become a problem, uh, it's not right, you know. The not good enough players uh, are a problem. And uh, the, the great players I had in my life, they wanted always to be surrounded by great players, you know. And uh, uh, so that is because that eases the pressure a little bit on them. And not only I have to score always alone, you know. So they want to be surrounded by great players. And the, these clubs at the moment have not the, the quality they had before. He was very close to join us because uh, the bad luck for us was that Carlos Queiroz joined Man United. And in a week he persuaded Ferguson to buy Ronaldo, what was quite a good goodbye at the time. <laughs> it's amazing the way history might have changed had Ronaldo been an You know, we, we, speak about, we speak about Ronaldo. He was at our training ground with our show. <laughs> we speak about Mbappé. I was at his home. Uh, when he was undecided to extend his contract with Monaco, he could have come to Arsenal for free, you know. But uh, that's, uh, I would say, every club is full of histories like that. You go to Milan, to Manchester, to Arsenal, to Chelsea. You have this kind of, of stories everywhere. Did you ever meet Messi's parents as well? Sorry? Did you ever meet Messi's parents? <laughs> Who? <laughs> you, if you had Mbappe, Ronaldo, did Messi ever come close? No, we wanted, to, in fact, we wanted to make the trio Fabregas, Messi and Piquet. Really? Yes. And uh, we, uh, at the time, they were 87. It's an 87 generation, you know, they played all together. Uh, Piquet played midfield at the time and Piquet at the time uh, went to Man United. In the end, he decided for Man United. Fabregas joined us and Messi, Barcelona, was clever enough to keep him. Because, uh, I, I knew a little bit about Patrick Vieira, what he was in the frame, but uh, Thierry Henry being at the, in Montreal, I uh, didn't expect him to leave, but uh, it's, a good, it's a good club, Bournemouth, and uh, I think a good test as well for somebody. They do have good players, they work well, so I, I think it's a great platform for a young manager to show that he can do it in England and have to go to the Premier League. I would say all the players who play at the top, I can imagine they, they can be managers because to play at the top, top, you need to understand football. And after it's more a dedication of life. Do you want to lead this life, this kind of life or not, you know? And uh, you don't know that when you manage them. Would you take a call from someone like Thierry Henry now if he wanted that right? Of course, uh, you know, uh, you, uh, when you worked uh, like I did, uh, for 37 or 38 years, you would like to help uh, all your players because uh, you have uh, shared emotions together, you have gone for fights together, you have suffered together and you want them to have a happy life. So if I can help them, uh, I'm always happy to do it. How